Hey, what's up coaches? Welcome back to the channel. Now today I want to show you how to create a good business name for your training business. And here's the deal. I spend a lot of time on Instagram every day. I'm messaging coaches. Coaches are messaging us. I have seen so many terrible business names on Instagram. And I don't mean that to like make fun of people. I mean that because it's like, it's true. Like if you spend time on Instagram and just type in like hashtag private basketball training or private soccer training, you can find a lot of coaches who are posting content. There's a lot of great names out there, but there's a lot of bad names out there too. And the reason why you want to avoid a bad business name is because if it's a bad business name, like it looks cheesy. Um, someone who wants to pay a lot of money, like if they first see your brand on social media and it's like a weird name, they're not going to want to pay you. Like that's just, that's just how parents are. And that doesn't mean you have to spend 10 years trying to figure out a good business name. I'm going to show you how to do this in under like five minutes. Right? So it's very important. You need a good business name, uh, because that can either help you stand out and attract high end clients, or it can like detract from your business. Right? Now I have this broken into three different steps here. So we have the two second rule, the perfect client rule, and the test the market rule. All right. And I'll go through each of these one by one and start at the top. So what is the two second rule? Now the two second rule is if someone like sees your, your business name, whether it's on a business card, a flyer, a t-shirt, uh, or let's say it's on social media, they should be able to figure out what your business does within two seconds. Now, if it takes the person a long time to try to figure out and be like, well, what is that? Like, you know, I don't know what that is. It's too late, right? And I'll give you like two good examples, right? So there's a coach that we work with. His, his name's Sam Fisher. Uh, we're not currently working together right now, but we work together for about three or four years. His business is called Throw to Win. He's a quarterback trainer. Now, if someone sees his brand on social media, they click on Instagram and they click over to his page, they know exactly what he does, they know exactly who he is within two seconds. It's very easy to understand that, all right? Another example is this channel. It's called Make Money Coaching Sports. It's pretty obvious what this channel is, is geared towards. It's towards coaches who wanna make money training kids, all right? So it's pretty simple, pretty obvious, right? So within two seconds, you need to be able to think, all right, do people know what this is? Like straight away, off the bat, do they know what this is? Do they know what we do? All right, if they don't, it can get a little confusing. All right, so this is the two second rule. The next is the perfect client rule. Now, this might not apply to everyone who hears this, but a lot of coaches that we work with, all right, which is like a small segment of our subscribers here on YouTube, uh, what happens is they, as, as they grow their business, they want to work with clients who are more committed, all right? And if they work with more, with clients who are more committed, typically those clients are paying more for their services. And we call this the perfect client. We have other videos on YouTube. We break down, you know, what that means and you know, how that's set up. Uh, but let's just say with the perfect clients that you're trying to attract in your business, let's say they're wanting to invest somewhere between like, $2,000 per year and $7,000 per year, right? And I'm gonna using that because that's like a pretty normal uh, investment for this type of industry that parents make, depending if you're doing private training or group training. Um, it could be more than 7K, it could be less than 2K, all right? But let's just use those numbers. And if you're trying to attract like a higher end type of client, a higher end type of client is not going to do business with someone <laughs> who has like a weird sounding business name. Like, because think about it, the first impression is so important. And let's say they find you on social media and they're like put off by, by your name. They're not going to want to work with you, no matter how great you are. Even if like, in, and I would say even too, if someone has referred them to you, that's still gonna sound weird. So you have to be thinking, all right, who are my perfect clients? And it's not, it's not like we have to set up your name based on what they want. I'm not saying that. I'm saying it needs to be something that's crystal clear. And it's something that if someone is your perfect client and they see it, they're like, oh yeah, that, that looks awesome. 
all right? So it should try to resonate with the people that you want to work with, all right? And I've seen some coaches, they've created business names that weed out people that they don't want to work with, which is good. That's another way of creating a business name, all right? So the two-second rule, got to be able to figure out what your business name is within two seconds. Here, all right, this should be something that is attracting the perfect types of clients that you want, all right? And the third, I call this the test the market rule. And this is a really simple thing a lot of coaches don't do, all right? Pretty much every coach that I've ever spoken to has either Facebook or Instagram, all right? And if, let's say for some reason you don't have one of those things, all right? You can use an email. All right, and all you do is you either go to social media and you post, hey, I'm thinking about uh, these three business names, which do you like the best? And get people in your area to vote on what they like the best. All right, because at the end of the day, the people who are going to be paying you, it's not you, you're not, like, you're the business owner, all right? You should be like putting up polls and stuff like that on social media to get other people's feedback. So you could do that on social media, or you could pick like the 10 people you're closest to and send everybody an individualized email and say, hey, here's like three business names I'm thinking of. Which one do you like the best? Start to gather data and then pick the one that you feel like is resonating with most people. Um, and you can do the same thing with like if you're selling merch like t-shirts, hats, uh, if you're doing like designing water bottles or anything like that, you can test the market before you start selling it. All right. And that is a really simple way to create your business name. This should be an exercise. Uh, honestly, it should take you less than like 10 minutes, right? I know a lot of coaches, when they get to this step here, they take forever. They take way too long. Um, and then they try to like go copy other people on Instagram. Don't need to copy anyone, all right? What you have should be original to what you want to do. Um, and it should be relevant to the people who are going to be paying, all right? So I hope this helps. If you have problems with this sort of stuff, like literally just turn off your internet for 10 minutes, have a pen, piece of paper, write things down and go through these things. And if you don't pass any of these tests here, all right, then try harder. All right. That's it for today's video. If you want more videos like this, hit that subscribe button. At this point, we have over 675 free videos on YouTube and we have a newsletter that goes out every single day. You can go get that newsletter for free at buildmysportsbiz.com. Just go to the very bottom of my website, put your name and email in there, um, and you can be added to our email list. That's it. I'll see you later.